Hello there, I'm the Nightmare Duke, and have you ever found yourself in the situation where you find a great legendary weapon at a vendor, or when you're running on your old or new character, but it's not max level and you're like, ah, no, but how much difference does it actually make? Let's find out. So for the test today, we're going to be using the Fixer as a test case, going to be using a level 20 single star anti-armor version versus a level 50, which is of course the max level for the Fixer. Also anti-armor, single star, exact same mods, so everything is fair there. It is the commando version as well. And for the build, not running anything that's going to be giving us, you know, increasing damage or more damage over time. So no tenderizer, adrenaline, follow through, gung fu or anything like that. Just the same build for each one. So those results will remain uh, fair across the board there. Also, just going to be seeing how many shots it takes to kill these level 100 super mutants. And also if there's a big difference in the crit damage that you can get as well. So let's just get into it. And into West Tech, we go with our level 20 here. We'll check the crit damage and we'll check how many shots it takes uh, on average to kill these level 100 super mutants. And we'll start with you, buddy. Why, why was that? A crit shot for the first shot. Uh, okay, we'll call that an anomaly and just continue from here. What's up, buddy? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five shots on that one. Let's see if that is gonna be the average. We'll just get rid of the dog here quickly and continue on our way. There we go. Missed one, two, three, four. Five. So it seems five shots is the average here on the level 20 version. Let's just make sure of that. One, two, three, four, five. That's the one missed there. So yeah, five shots for the level 20 fixer. And just to see the crit shot damage here on the level 20. Let's see here. 317. Okay, cool. So we have our baseline there for the level 20. Let's test out the level 50. And back inside we go with the level 50 fixer now. And let's see how many shots this one will take and then compare that crit shot damage as well. So three on that, but we'll just make sure it is average of three shots. Uh, okay, now go around the curtain. One, two, three. So three shots. So it's looking like a two shot difference between the level 20 and the level uh, 50. How about a crit shot? No, don't interrupt that. 502 so much more on the crit shot as well compared to the 317 on the level 20 version so while it may not be you know five shots compared to three shots you will be spending more ammo that is the big difference but also uh the uh damage that you're going to be outputting onto your bigger targets and not just your regular enemies like your bosses is where you'll also really notice then uh the weapon sort of lagging behind but it's not too bad compared to you know, all the way from level 20 to level 50, but there definitely is uh, a difference. But what I want to see actually is if you have a level 40 version or whatever weapon you're using, the second highest level, if there's much of a difference there between the highest level for it. So in the fixes case, we are going to go for a level 40 version. Again, single star anti-armor, exact same mods, and we'll just compare this to that level 50 version. So the level 50 was getting those three shots with a 502 on the crit damage. Let's see what this level 40 can do. And if it, you know, does make sense, then it would be slightly better than the level 20. And let's start off with a crit shot properly this time. And a 450 on the level 40 there. So not too far off of the level 50s, 502. So 450 on that crit shot. And one, two, three, four. Four shots. Uh, four regular shots, I should say. And is that the average? Seems to be. Nice. Four shots and 450 on that crit. So level 20, five shots, 317 on the crit damage. Level 40, four shots. Uh, 450 on the crit and then a level 53 shots 502 on the crit so a nice little increase there so the weapon does definitely get better the further along you go but level 40 and level 50 or again at least on the fixes case yeah the closer you get to the max level it does sort of get those diminishing returns so if you do find like a godly rolled version uh you know it's still probably worthwhile to pick up even if it is one 
uh, you know, bar lower in terms of its max level. Uh, but of course, ideally, you want the biggest, uh, well, the highest level you can get for the weapon. And just to see on some bigger targets as well, like the behemoth here. Pretty sure some of these shots won't register because that's pretty usual. Uh, but level 20 version here. Let's see. So all the way down to 14 on the second mag. And we'll come back with our level 50 and see how that one does. And with the level 50 here, against our behemoth buddy. Oh, almost there on the one magazine. And one click should do it. So yeah, again, an improvement there as well. But yeah, let's just wrap things up. There you have it, just a quick look at seeing how much of a difference the weapon level actually makes. Of course, it might be different on different weapons uh, and different, you know, archetypes of weapons. Uh, but I just took a quick look here at the fixer here. So hopefully that helped you out and you enjoyed. If it did, then hey, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Sticking around for more Fallout content. As always, a massive thank you to the channel members for their support. But for now, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.